So be sure to check me out on those platforms. Today, we have an everyday makeup routine that was highly, highly, highly requested from a lot of you as well as on my Instagram. And today I'm giving you a very detailed of what I use to do my everyday face with prep and everything else. So be sure to stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with eyebrows. And I like to use just a regular normal so, so this one is the Brow Style Defined by L'Oreal Paris. So it's just a pencil with a little squeeze on the end. I like to mix both the foundation I'm going to wear as well as my Born in This Way Concealer and Butterscotch to outline the bottom. I never outline the top of my brow. I just don't like how that looks for an everyday type of look. Maybe if I was doing like a full glam look, I would do that. But for everyday, I just like to conceal the bottom that's it. So I'm going to do my brows right now. I've already prepped my skin. Let me just show you guys what I use to prep my skin. I like to use the Dr. Dennis Gross, which you guys, if you watch my morning get ready with me, it's in there. Everything I use to prep my skin before makeup. But I like to use this Magic Serum from Charlotte Tilbury. I also go in with my Skin Fix Barrier Triple Lipid Triple Lipid Collagen Activating Serum. So good. I just started using that today. I really like it. So as you can see, I'm very much moisturized. I don't prime my face until after I do my eyebrows, so you guys will see what I use for that. Oh, and another thing I like to use for my brows that I just got again because I had ran out is the 24-hour brow setter by Benefit Cosmetics, and everything will be linked below if I don't say what I'm using. But yeah, so I just go ahead and brush this out. And if there's moments of silence, it's because I literally cannot talk while I do um, my brows and like certain parts of my face. Y'all, why I forgot to do, <laughs> I forgot to use the gel for Benefit. But usually what I would do is I would use my spoolie and then go in with this, but I'll just use it afterwards to show you guys how I use it. You can use it before, you can use it afterwards. I think it still gives a very good hold on your brows to make sure that they stay in place. And I just like to really darken the middle as well as the tail end of my brow. But I like to leave this area kind of like sparse because I just like the look that it gives. This area, I just kind of like close my pencil up like this. And I just gently add um, some more product. Not too much, okay? Not too much. Okay, so that's kind of... Ooh, that's a cute brow. But yeah, that's what my brow looks like on that side. And then I just like to brush it out in the front like that. I'll come in, brush it out, and then I'll go in and set my head. So that's that. This is like a little mixer plate that I use to like mix my foundation and my concealer to make a really nice shade for highlighting under my brows. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I just like to use my concealer wand and then mix the two. Mix the two and just create like a really nice shade that I feel like matches and also highlights at the same time. Then I just wipe off the excess so it's not too much. And I don't know why I, I feel like I always have to do this, but I do like this, like just a little bit, like not tugging too much. So that's 
I don't like what it would look like. And then I get some more from the little plate. What do you call these things? I don't know why I'm calling it a little plate, but then I'll just do the other side. This is how I conceal. I never touch the top of my eyebrow. Concealer is just not my thing. I don't like the halo brows. I hate when I see people with halo brows. To me, it just looks crazy. And then I just take a blending brush. This is really for your eye, but I like to use it for underneath. And I just blend it out. Y'all, usually my brow take about like 10 minutes, but I have some glue and I have this pencil. Just... You've been silent, like I said I was gonna do. But I'm trying to get down the tip, okay? Period. But don't worry if it looks a little bit crazy. You can always go back with your beauty blender or whatever sponge you like to use and you can smooth it out. Then I just take the back of my beauty blender and just kind of blend it out as best as I can. But again, I'm also going to go back and blend when I do my foundation. So it's not a big deal. But yeah, this is what they look like. These are my brows, how I do my brows. And now we're going to move on to primer. So I like to use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer, the best primer ever. Again, I have combination like dry skin in the winter, so I definitely need something that's more luminous and not as like tacky. This one never scares me wrong. So I really love using this Giorgio Armani. And of course, you should use a primer that works best for your skin. So if you have dry skin, use a primer that works for you. If you have combination and so on and so forth. Please. To make sure that our base is nice and beautiful. And y'all, I'm wearing a contact, so if my eye looks watery or like glassy, it's because of my contacts. Because I would not be able to do this video for y'all if I wasn't wearing contacts. <laughs> so I just let this sit for a little bit on my face, but y'all see it. I'm looking over there, but I should be looking at y'all, but yeah, y'all see it. And then I like to go in with my best skin ever from Sephora. I love it for every day. I like to use different types of foundation. Like if I was doing a full glam, I'd probably use like a different foundation like NARS or like Makeup by Mario. But today I'm using this because I love this for every day and it's affordable, y'all. I think this was only like $20, but I'm going to go ahead and bounce it in using my MAC 170 and this is a foundation brush as you can see it's very kind of dense to really like pat it in like bounce it in that's what I like to do and then I like to use the beauty blender to like go over it and make sure there's no harsh lines so that's what I'm about to do right now and y'all just one pump of this is enough but I'm gonna use like a pump and a half. I don't really like foundation like that. I don't know why I just do this. But I put a couple dots all over my face. Because when you put the foundation in here, like if you put your foundation on your brush and then go in, I feel like all the product just seeps inside and it's annoying. Okay. Then um what I like to do is use the airbrush flawless setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. And I just like to spray the top of my foundation brush. I don't know if that's something you're supposed to do, but it's something I like to do. I can't go in with just a dry brush. Like, it's just giving dry. Like, it needs to be a little bit, just a little, a little zamp, which also helps with just keeping your makeup on longer too. So that's what I do. And then I just bounce it all around. And then I just like to press it into my skin. Press it. Press, press, press. And this is 
like a medium coverage foundation, which I like. I love a medium coverage for every day. Um, I just feel like medium coverage is just a nice calm sleigh. Like, not doing too much. And before, I used to be a girl that loved to just use my beauty blender. And sometimes I am, especially if I'm in a rush. I feel like... <laughs> Sometimes when you're in a rush, the beauty blender just got to do everything because it'd be a lot going on. And when you're trying to be quick, quick out the door, the beauty blender is just going to do that for you. But today, we are not in a rush. And this is just how I would do it normally if I wasn't in a rush. So, yeah. Usually I don't put full, um, foundation on my forehead, but I just put a little bit today. And then right under that eye where we did the concealer for the brows, we just go back under it to blend it further. And if you end up messing up your brows like me sometimes, I just go back and add a little bit of pencil on there. Because period, we're going to do what we got to do to make it work. Yay! We put a little bit more in this area because it tends to be dark. And I know I could color correct. I forgot to use this, but I love using a brow gel to just keep everything in place. I have really curly brows, so this is a must for me. So the two concealers that I like to use are the Boy in This Way. I just showed you the one in butter, Butterscotch. And I also like to use the one in Latte just for like more highlighted effect under the eyes. So I just go in with one this way the butterscotch one more closer to where my nose is right here and right here and then I like to put it also towards the end of my eye in an upward motion Again, on the other side. And then I also like to take it and put it here. And then I take a latte. And I just put latte right in the center here. And as you can see, it's a more brighter yellow tone. And that's the mix together. Shit's been spinning. So I like to put that here, right in the center, right there. And I just let this sit for like. The longer you let your um, concealer sit, the more pigmented it becomes. So I think I learned that from Jackie Early, but yeah, you just gotta let it sit a little bit. Okay. Then again, I take a damp beauty blender, damp, and I do the same thing. I just take a set my setting spray and I just spritz it a little bit more for myself. So I take this side and I just go in a back and forth motion like this to blend it out to make sure the two blend seamlessly together. And you can kind of see that happening right there. And any excess, I just like bring it down. Bring it down some to make sure that whole area. Comment down below if this is helping you so far or if you use any of these same products. Then I like to just bring it over my eye. 
use that excess to also color my eyelid. So like if I was doing an eyeshadow look, um, this would start the process of me priming my eyelid, but today you guys will see how I do that every day. Then I take the back of my beauty blender and just kind of make sure everything is seamless and blend it out. So you see that, how it just disappeared and it's not harsh. That is what the beauty blender is for, to make sure there's no harsh lines and just making sure everything is blended. And cute, y'all see that? Period. Again, we're gonna do this side. And I know y'all, this looks like it's a lot of concealer, but this is how much I like to use it, okay? And then again, take the back and just make sure everything is just blended and very much seamless. We don't want no harsh lines. And if you do end up with harsh lines, make sure just to go ahead and blend that out. And then of course we have this. Blend it across the top of my mouth. Make sure to hit that area if needed because it's kind of darker for me. So there is the concealer. You know, the board this way has not enough feeling for me, but then this way is more feeling. And now we're going to contour. Okay, so now we're using the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick, Matchstick. Espresso to contour. So I just like to take these to the hollow of my cheeks like so. And then I just pop these up some to the side. And then I like to just take it and bring it down a little bit more. So a little bit like in that crease. And I do the same to the other side. Just that way. <laughs> and then I just like to take my beauty blender and then put it on its side and kind of just press it in and up. And this may take a little while. To like really work the product in, but that's okay. Take your time. Remember, you want everything to be blended and not look harsh. So that's what we're doing. Just blend it around. Again, if you're not happy, just go ahead and blend it out. I also forgot to add some to my forehead. You know, we want to give her the illusion that my forehead is. <laughs> that my forehead is. Um, Small, even though it ain't small, it's pretty large. So yeah, just go ahead and blend that out. Period. And then move on to the next side. Also, if your beauty blender starts to get dry, that handy dandy. It's gonna be there every time. Or you could just wet it again, but. I'm not by the water right now to be real. So I'm just doing this side too, make sure it's blended. Make sure your eye look on the temple. Use the pan. Make sure we got a smashed, smashed crease. There we go. And even if 
if it's not as, you know, dark as you want it to be, we're also gonna go back with bronzer, so. I just like to use beauty blender to do it, to do it on my nose too. don't need that much tools it's all about the technique y'all do what works for you take from this what you will then i like to go again into that crease and just bring it all the way up we are all blended out it's all blended out and that's how it looks then I'm going to take my little handy dandy powder puff and I'm going to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder and this is just like translucent shade there's no shade to this and this is talc free y'all don't be using talc products on your skin I know I still have a long way to go to get to clean beauty but I really enjoy this one because it's all free and it's ultra blurring and it will set that amount really good. Okay, but before this, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Blush in Truth and I'm going to blush. So just small little, little bit and then I put a few dots. <laughs> and again with the beauty blender listen the beauty blender just makes sure everything is seamless okay so we're just gonna pat that in and bring it up all the way up pat that in and bring it up okay do a little cheesy face not too much not too much just a little cheesy on the other side. This is like such a cute color. I feel like this can work for all types of skin tones. Because our truth is the truth. I love that. It's so cute. Okay. Then I just go back and I just again blend it out to the best of my ability with the beauty blender. Okay, so look at how pretty. Like, I literally love pretty much lips right now. I don't know why. I will be using it more often in the future. And that's good what it should look like. I just take the excess and put it like on my nose bridge. Okay, so I already started baking this eye. So basically I just take the Laura Mercier and I press it well I take the powder puff and I press it in so I get like a nice even layer if I feel like it's too much I just dust it off a little bit and then I go right underneath my eye like this and I'll kind of just like let it sit for a little bit I do the rest of my face. And I know it looks a little bit crazy, but everything will come together. Okay, so now I'm taking this Fenty Beauty blush brush. Y'all, I got so many different types of brushes. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm gonna take that and then I'm gonna use the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Palette. And this is in, is this Captivate? Yeah, Captivate. And I'm just gonna use the blush color that's in. I want it to match um, the Rare Beauty one, so this is the one I'm gonna use. And I just tap it a few times. Look, it's all broken. You know I use this a lot. It's all broken, so yeah. Okay, so I just take this and I go over it again. So 
for that blush to like pop. And then I go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. This also gives us, uh, this also allows us to set the creams that we put on our face. So We're going to go back and blend, y'all. And then I like to put the excess on my nose. This is like the way I like to do it. That's what I see. So we're going to do that. And then I'm done with blush. I like to go in and do my bronzer. I'm going to take this sculpt and powder brush that I got from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to use the Huda Bronzer in Toasted. This is from Benefit. I just wipe off any excess and then I just go in and like rebronze the area that we, well, bronze the area that we contoured. So we'll do this. I just like to take some bronzer and put it on my eyelids because I think that looks so pretty with the blush. So I just kind of like do it on my eyelids. Just for a little bit of color, a little razzle dazzle. Alright, this is what it should kind of um, look like already. Then what I like to do is take a powder brush. This is actually the Sephora blush brush, but I like to use that as a powder brush. You can use whatever brush works best for you. I have the Sephora powder brush. I just don't know where it is right now, so I'm going to use this one. It's clean, and that's all that matters. Um, and then again, I go back into the Sephora collection Micro Smooth. And I use this dark shade because it matches my skin tone. I use it as an all-over powder. But right now, I'm just going to take the clean brush and dust the way that, um, that Laura Mercier that we put underneath the eye. So where I put the bronzer, I'm just gonna make sure the blend is not gonna look crazy. But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just tap into that color. I don't even know what the color is. What color is that? I don't know. But it's supposed to be like a bronzer, but it works well because it is a powder. And I just go in. Tap it on the upper. Just tap it all over to just make everything look seamless. And honestly, I do need that Sephora Micro Smooth powder. Sephora collection has so much good stuff for affordable price. So if you're looking for affordable products or just affordable brushes in general. Sephora is going to do it for me every time, okay? So, that's what everything looks like. Blended and powdered. 
and then I just go back with my powder puff and then whatever excess is on it like I don't add anything else to it I just go in and um, just try to carve out that contour a little bit more so that it shows a little bit more and I'm gonna adjust the way the powder is Um, this is the Cleopatra ink from Oma Beauty. It's almost done, so it's not the best that it could be right now. My favorite is the Kat Von D tattoo liner, but I ran out, so this is the only other one I have. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And I might not be able to talk to y'all during this, but hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. Cut ya. Period. Oh, I just love a wing liner because it just takes the makeup up a notch. But yeah, this is really in my everyday. Our wing liner. I know it's kind of thick, but that's how I like it. Just like it. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to put on some lashes. Okay. So I have these kiss lashes. I'm going to link them below. I've already worn them. So I don't have the packaging that they came in. Okay. So I went ahead and put this kiss lash contour glue on there. For the most part, it's pretty good. I just use my fingers to put on my lashes. Like, it just works best for me. This is how I learn how to put on my lashes. I don't know how to put it on with a tweezer. Even though they say it's easier, I just think you would learn from a tweezer. So, okay, so all you do is, all you need is a mirror and you kind of look down and put them on. So, my eyelashes are super curly. And just put it right in the middle. Okay. Now it's hard to do this in front. Okay, so there's the lash on, and then 
and I take any mascara really, but right now I'm using the Their Real Benefit Mascara. And I'll just go ahead and add mascara to the bottom. Go to my lashes and let them blend well. And then I take the same mascara and I do my bottom lashes. I like to take my finger and then just press them together. So take my lashes and do a complete blend there. And there you have it. There's <laughs> there's a lash and there's my lashes. My battery is about to die. So I'm gonna put the other one on and come back. Okay, y'all, I'm back and I just put on these earrings I got from Zara because period. I wanna complete the look. Anyway, so I put on my other lash, cleaned it up a bit, made it look a little bit better. And now I'm just gonna take some of this tissue that I have in front of me to wipe the foundation off of my lips. And usually for every day, I just like to use, do a brown lip. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Heat and Hot Chocolate. And then I'm using my favorite lip pencil from Makeup Forever. And this is Limitless Brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lip. And I love these pencils cause you don't gotta do too much. You could um, use whatever color works best for you, like whatever your favorite gloss is, whether that's clear gloss, pink gloss, or if you're a matte girl, I'm a gloss girl, so it will always be gloss for me. So that's my lip line to perfection. Oh, I have the gloss and everything. They also have the one that is not um, heat, because this one just gives like a plumping effect. And I know not everyone likes that, but I don't mind it, so. I also have the regular one too, but I just love fancy glosses. And then the last thing I do is just make sure everything is blended in, once again, seamless, period. And then I like to use the airbrush once again, be going in with that again, and just spray my face. And then if I want my makeup to really last, that is good enough. But I also like to go in with the one size until dawn mattifying wet, wet, mattifying waterproof setting spray. And I just give it a little shake and I go ahead and mist that on. And you should probably have it further from your face, but that's whatever. Um, <laughs> And then I just take my Beauty Blender again to go in and just press all that stuff in that I sprayed into my face. Just press it in, make sure everything is seamless and beautiful. And you know, that is the look. That is my everyday makeup routine. Let me know how you guys like it in the comments. I love this look. It usually takes me about, I would say 45 minutes to an hour to do this face. It took me a little bit longer today because I'm talking to y'all, but this is what it looks like when I do my face, whether I'm going to an event or just going out and I want to put makeup on. This is my whole routine and everything will again be linked down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.